It's interesting that Elite has some similarities with the Fight Club. There are unspoken rules, and bunch of dudes fight while other weirdos watch and cheer them on as they pummel out as many teeth out as possible. Nevertheless, for the fourth anniversary, I've gathered a bunch of rather known dudes that we may form a ring and list the rules of Elite. So everyone from the youngest Sally to the most salt-tempered Bobby would know what the cardinal sins are or what should be kept in mind as you enter the grand deep dark of the Milky Way. The rule that everyone knows, the rule that speaks the most truth and the rule that yours truly has broken one too many times. As you fly in this dangerous galaxy, having a rebuy simply ensures that you will have the ship next time you open your eyes when accidentally nodding off while jumping from system to system. It ensures that you will have a ship next day after meeting another player. And most of all, it will ensure that you won't ever go bankrupt and lose more than just your ship. I still remember failing this and losing any joyful feelings I had for the game when it happened. Oh, and don't ever rely on loans saving you. It's just a lazy excuse for failing. Every day, several commanders find themselves out of fuel and with no way to get to a station. This leaves them with no other option than to self-destruct their ship or to call the fuel rats to come and save them. This could easily have been avoided had they brought a fuel scoop with them and paid attention to the galaxy map to find the last Google star in the route. So regardless of where you're heading, bring a fuel scoop. And if you opt not to do that, then pay close attention to your fuel tank so you can dock and refuel before you run out. You've picked and outfit your ship. You've taken your mission and left the station, only to realize you've yet to sort out your logistics. As you peruse the galaxy map, you suddenly hear your ship screaming warnings and spewing flames as you're under attack. Maybe, just maybe, planning your route in the safety of the station would have been the better call. When plotting your route, there are several things you'll want to verify. Most important is likely do you have enough fuel, if you don't have a fuel scoop. This will show with a solid line when you have enough fuel and a dashed when you don't. You can also set the map to route via the least amount of jumps or most fuel efficient and can plot your route through only scoopable stars. While not a complicated subject, proper route planning is something all elite pilots need be proficient with. So finally, after months of lugging around tons of slaves and tea leaves, you finally have enough to fully A-rate that ship, slap a couple plasma accelerators on that sweet bird, and go out and dine on some chicken butts. Well, you line up behind your target, unleash those hard points, and then your life support turns off, your thrusters power down, and the dead hooker you had in your truck flies out your powerless cargo hatch. All because you didn't set your power priorities in the right-hand panel. Set your power priorities, people. Also, uh, I can explain the dead hooker. She was like that one. Uh, next rule, please. Four hundred billion star systems. This is the Milky Way, our galaxy, a truly vast place and a home to elite dangerous. Yet, everywhere looks the same, or so some would have you believe. Whilst this can be true, if you confine yourselves to the inhabited core systems that surround Earth, you only need to travel beyond just a few hundred light years to see the different and the distinct. From the iconic Bernard's Loop to the unique Vel Nebula West, from the dense star fields of the galactic center to the black voids of the Formidine Rift and beyond, whether you're seeking planets, distant horizons, or strange new discoveries, there is plenty to see. As a rule then, there's a whole galaxy out there, and it's far more unique than some believe. Hey there, it's time for a little talk about the joy of six. Hold on, the joy of what? The joy of six, Turgeon. Oh, I thought you said... No, six as in the number. And here's why. You have a goal. And you want to get there as quickly as you can. But hey there, this isn't a competition, Commander. It's a dance. And you've got to know your dance partner. That is where Six comes in. 
when you're getting close, just think, six, play with your throttle, adjust your angle, whatever it takes to keep that number at six. That way you'll never have to deal with the shame of pulling out and trying again. Remember, Commander, the best pilots are always thinking of six. Okay, I'm in the conflict zone, and I'm ready to kill. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, turn on your wing beacon. Sparks, you're supposed to be my wingman here. Where are you? Turn on your wing beacon. Like I said, I'm in the conflict zone. Or as I call it, the conflict zone. Turn on your wing beacon, because I don't I don't know where you are. It's by a planet. Like, like a really huge planet. You can't miss Mars, it. Mars, I swear... On everyone I've ever met's mother's grave. They're all by a planet! Turn on the beacon! Oh, alright. Wait, what's a beacon? <sighs> on your right-hand panel, there's a tab with a wing beacon toggle. Switch it on so I know which instance you're in, and then turn on the beacon! What's an instance? Oh, this? Turn on bacon. Oh, you want the bacon. Yeah, everyone just says, put the beacon on! No <laughs> no one knows what a beacon is, Sparks, you freaking nerd. You know what? I give up! I give up! No way, no, no way! No, wait, no, say no, again! Oh, Sparks, where's the beacon? I can't find fucking you! Fucking <laughs> Fuck! So, you've got your ship, you've memorized rules 1 through 7, and you think you're ready to venture out into the Big Black. But unless you packed your asbestos underpants, you'll need to learn a thing or two about personal space. You see, stars and other massive stellar objects have absolutely zero respect for you, so you must respect them or risk being turned into a fine paste. Gravitational calculations are hard and there's a lot to remember, but fear not, the Sirius Corporation have got you covered. They did all the heavy maths for you. All you need to do is stay outside of the exclusion zone, which is shown as a nice friendly blue line on your HUD, assuming you have orbit lines turned on. Venture too close and your FSD's emergency systems will kick you violently back into normal space. You'll take some damage, but it's better than the alternative. Isn't that nice of them? Just remember to slow down after a jump or you'll experience that a lot. Ah, nothing like opening a fresh new digital wrapper and installing an experience that'll enable you to jump through star systems, mine planetary rings, and explore alien services. But pump your brakes, Quasar Superstar. Elite Dangerous isn't a press play and burn thrusters out of a box 1980 shooter. You literally need skills to pay the bills after you get blended by station security or bounced off a moon. Hit the main menu and hop into the training sessions you need, or start from the beginning and work your way through them one by one. Combat training might make your cheeks leak and you may not pass, but hey, neither did a lot of us. Seven up salute, Commander. Keep this up and you'll have attained elite status before you know it. And with that, those would be the rules of Ali. A massive thanks to all the collaborators and the links for their respective channels will be in the description. And of course, from all of us, happy anniversary Ali Dangerous and fly safe, commanders.